lot of football fan and wondering what else to watch on TV on Super Bowl Sunday, Animal Planet has you covered. For the last 15 years, the network has put their spin on the Super Bowl with a game between puppies that has become immensely popular over the last half decade. The Puppy Bowl has expanded to include kittens, rabbits, chickens, pigs, hedgehogs, and more animals. And many non-sports fans will be tuning in to watch this instead of the big game. BetDSI.com Sportsbook, the only sportsbook with puppy bowl betting odds, has you covered if you want to bet on this too. Although this is the 15th puppy bowl, it is only the fifth time that it has been held in a competitive format. Team Rough trounced Team Fluff 87-49 in the first puppy bowl and repeated as champions with a 70-44 win the following year. That led to Ruff being favored by as many as 10 points in Puppy Bowl 51, as bettors thought that Ruff might be set up to continue dominating. Those thoughts were smashed when Fluff crushed Ruff 93-38, and Fluff also won 52-47 last year. The series is tied now at two each entering this Sunday's competition. This year's Puppy Bowl will be one for the ages. Animal Planet is starting to pull out all the stops and there will be sloths, penguins, porcupines, and kangaroos at this year's competition. That will ensure people continue to tune in, as this is now the network's most watched show every year. We will also have the special needs dogs competing in the Puppy Bowl this year. There will be hearing impaired puppies and three-legged puppies competing, and their participation will be sure to warm the hearts of anyone flipping through the channels. As for the game itself, the rules are largely straightforward. Any time a puppy carries a toy into the end zone, it counts as a touchdown. That usually leads to smaller dogs having the edge, as they are feistier and more active. They are more willing to grab a toy and run than the big dogs, and that's why the majority of Puppy Bowl MVPs have been smaller dogs. A terrier has been named MVP four times in 14 years, so that is a great bet when looking at Puppy Bowl MVP odds. The broadcast crew is heavy on the puns, and you will hear a pun every 15 to 30 seconds if you watch the Puppy Bowl. They play for the Lombarki Trophy, and the terminology is littered with crossover puns involving either football or the puppies themselves. So if you're not a fan of that type of humor, perhaps you might want to watch this game on mute. This is one of the craziest things to bet on on Super Bowl Sunday, but our money is going to be on rough. They won't lose three in a row, or maybe Animal Planet won't let them, and they will respond in a big way after losing the last two years to get the win. Don't forget to visit GetMoreSports.com to learn about all the fun and exciting prop bets available to wager on for Super Bowl Sunday. Also check out Get More Sports daily to stay on top of the line movements and get our expert pick and predictions for the Super Bowl.